Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a quick one for you. I've had a request come in to show the differences between the M44 field pack and the M45 field pack. So I've got an M44 and an M45 set up here for you and we're going to go over them differences and hopefully that'll answer that question. Now before we get started I do need to just point out that my M45 cargo bag here, in fact all three of my M45 cargo bags, were converted from M44 cargo bags. So there will be one or two things that these are missing from a straight production M45 and I'll show you what they are as we go through. So let's get started on the front here. Right guys, so before we get started I just need to point out one thing and that's that the 45 cargo bag here is one that was converted from a 44. If you see down here, you can see where my finger is that the straps have been cut off and that's to do with how the cargo bags attach, which is the main difference between the 45 and the 44. So if you look at the 44 here, on the bottom, you can see you've got this little D-ring, and there's one of them on the front, there's one on both sides, and one on the back. But I'll just quickly show you that there. You see the side one, and then here's the back one. And that's how you fit the M44 cargo bag to the M44 pack. Now, on the M45 that's been converted, you see they've all been cut off, the front, here's the back, and instead you've got these fittings here, two on the front, spin it over, two more on the back. So the 45 cargo bag, you get put the straps from the cargo bag through these on the front and the back to hold it to the field bag, whereas on the 44 you've got these um, stupid, really not fast to fit on quick release system that um, came loose fell off, was hard to put on in the first place and it just wasn't very good so they changed it very quick. That's the main difference between the two bags. Now one more difference is how you'd attach your suspenders to them if you want to use the bag just as like a backpack instead of having it with a belt. So on the 44 you see at the bottom here on each side you've got this little D-ring, one there and one there and then on the top at the side you've got one there, and on the other side, one there. Now the top ones are for fitting your general pur purpose strap to, the bottom one is for fitting your suspenders to. On the 45 however, you can see that them top ones for the general purpose strap have been moved to the top rather than the side. If I get them next to each other there you can see the difference, this one's right on the top and that one's right on the side above the pouch and instead of having the D-rings on the bottom on the side to fit your suspenders to you've got D-rings on the front which you'd fit, fit the suspenders to and they'd come round from the back through these so your suspender strap would come through here and then clip on like that so if, again if I get the 44 you can see it doesn't have the loops to put that strap through. So that's one of the other noticeable differences between them. I know the last difference that I can't really can't really show you this one properly because mine's been converted from a 44. But if I spin these over, both of them, there you go. So you see here where my hands are, where the straps attach to each of the packs. So on the 44 you have you, these straps here that go into your suspenders and they're just sewn in to this part here at the top and that's it, that's all there is. Now on this 45 that's the same but that's because this is a converted 45. Normally on a 45 this strap here would actually go round to the front as well and into here so that would be more reinforced so it's got, I assume these were able to be torn at this fit in here, so they reinforced them by running them around the top. Unfortunately I can't show you that because I don't have a proper made from the factory 45, mine are all made from 44s. Right guys, so to the best of my knowledge, that is basically all the differences between a 44 and a 45. As you can see just looking at them top down like this, they are basically identical and um, you can get away with doing different things. I mean you see this has got different buckles on here to this 44, but again that's just a different manufacturer's type to my knowledge you see them with them both types of buckles there so I wouldn't worry about that being different to that there so yeah they're basically the same bag it's just that they've changed the way the cargo bags attached to them 
and as a result of that modification they've also changed the way that the suspenders mount to them if you're fitting them as a um, backpack rather than attaching the suspenders to a cartridge belt or a pistol belt. So hopefully that's cleared some stuff up. If you guys know of any other differences between them please let me know because I'm always interested in learning. So uh, hopefully I've sorted some of them out for you and I'll see you next time.